everyone it's Persian doll tarot my camera is dead and my phone is charging I didn't realize I needed to charge it so I'm gonna use my laptop camera I've never used it before hopefully it works it might there might be a limit to a certain amount of time because I'm using like a free trial app I never use my laptop to do this so if it cuts off that's why Okay, so happy Friday, happy Venus Day. We're going to do a love reading for you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, please go comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you watch my last uh, reading for Aries. It was a really good reading. My YouTube has been very interesting. It kind of operates like TikTok now where it slow rolls your views. So it'll show me that I have like a certain amount of views, but then it won't show up on my channel until later. It's very different now, but let's see what we can find out about your current situation. For Aries, could be love, career, could be both. Let's see what we get. What does spirit want you guys to know? Pause, excuse me, pause, surrender, let go, gain new perspective, think differently, enlighten your mind, deep insights, Re release, change, make change, make, make sacrifices for what you, for what you desire. You are very inspired with a new idea. You realized and you've discovered, Aries, that you have limitless potential and you're exploring your possibilities. You're so excited about this, Aries. You need rest. You need to relax. You need to, you know, spend more time home, go within, meditate, retreat, renew your mind, Aries. So we have two cards here that are telling you to relax okay so relax today relax this weekend especially on sunday renew your mind and practice retreating from the world and think about what you're inspired to achieve this year aries this is a money year everyone's going to be talking about all the different investment opportunities and you have to trust yourself you have to be passionate about what, what it is that you want. What excites you, Aries? So you are independent and clear with your boundaries. You're very clear with your communication. Aries are very direct with their communication as it is. Oh, we have heartbreak, suffering, grief, emotional pain. So somebody is going through a divorce, a loss, a heartbreak, or just depression. It doesn't have to be that big of a deal. Could have even been like the loss of a pet, a friend. Someone's seeking pet pleasure and positivity, happiness, joy, success, all is well. You have a new beginning coming in for you, Aries. I think what I'm, what the cards, what spirit is telling us is that once you release this emotional pain, this grief, these blockages, you're, you're especially the solar plexus, which is responsible for your worthiness, your confidence. You know, you are going to come into happiness, joy, fulfillment. But you have to experience this first. So don't be afraid to express those feelings you have. You know, let them go. You, Someone's overindulging. There could also be a gossip about you or a third party. You can burn three cloves and it'll handle it real quick. Um, but... That's up to you if you guys, that's just what I do. Overindulgence, heavy partying, someone's isolating themselves, spending a lot of time alone. There could be a crowd. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody is going, one of you, hopefully not that many of you, are going through a heartbreak. You're going to have a new beginning soon. This reduces to a one in numerology. A ten numerology becomes a one. And then we have happiness. So maybe some of you, are dealing with like the gossip of what people are saying after a breakup because you chose yourself. But you know what? Let's move on to better things because who cares about the past? It's just a memory. Let's go. Let's keep going for Aries. So what do we have coming in for Aries 
Ooh, did you see that, you guys? That was interesting. So you're focusing on your personal goals. You might be playing it safe or acknowledging that you have a fear of the unknown. You might be afraid of change and you have been like lack of planning. You know, you might be very impulsive to where you just do things. You don't plan it out first, which is why Aries are very successful when we start something because we, we don't overthink it. We just do it. Familiarity. Happy memories, reminiscing, family, childhood, nostalgia, innocence. Someone's thinking about their family, the emotions, happy memories. Having uh, empathy, healing, gaining balance. Ooh, someone's celebrating joy, harmony. Uh, marriage, home, community, homecoming. I did tell you guys you were going to have it buy a new house. Someone's acting strategically. They know something. They have secrets. They have insights. They could be trickery, acting with trickery, you know. Maybe somebody's getting betrayed, but it doesn't really look bad for you. I mean, you're celebrating. You're happy. What is this about? Oh, abundance, nurturing. You could be pregnant or just in your feminine power, which is like the receiving, you know, the masculine is the giver, the feminine is the receiver. And by receiving and allowing yourself to, by nurturing yourself, you allow the universe to bring you abundance, joy, beauty, happiness, growth, evolution. Someone's restless, a little burnt out. Maybe re you're very reckless, Aries. You might be doing something and not considering, not really caring so much what the consequences are. We're very headstrong people and we're prone to like, that's why we're more athletic. We have, we're prone to like head injury because we, we go very hard. We are, we're prone to injuries because we are very fast and quick. You could be act, operating out of your shadow aspect, Aries. You know, being a little rigid, stubborn, reckless, which is, I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm very reckless myself. <laughs> I can be very reckless at times. You're saving money, planning for the future. You're making wise investments. Investments. Not investments, investments. That's another level of investment. You're exhausted, overwhelmed. Sometimes you're paranoid and defensive. I don't blame you, Aries. This world, there's crazy people in this world. And whoop, look at you enjoying the fruits of your labor, living in luxury, completing a cycle, financial rewards, independence. Ooh, I just saw the ton of pentacles they wanted to pop out. What else do we have for Aries spirit? And then I'm going to go on into... Uh, oracle card. So somebody's working hard, manifesting something, mastering a skill, repetitive tasks, putting in the work consistently. Somebody's really manifesting something. Ooh, the cards that were going to come out. They didn't come out, but the, they were going to, and that's enough for me to get excited. So you're working with others as a team. You're learning something. You could be learning something implementing it and building something okay you realize you were playing it small and you now know what your obstacles are or were you're doing shadow work you could be a little destructive because you're very reckless and fiery and aggressive and passionate but you're focusing on material items, okay? And you're focusing on harmony and family. And it's going to happen in quick. You're going to get a message or your manifestation is coming in so fast, very quickly, air travel possible. Possibly some someone's traveling, but you're going to get very quick decisions, changes, movement, action, into victory, into winning, success. The community will recognize you, public recognition, Aries. Your dreams are coming true. You're restoring hope. You're gaining knowledge. You're using astrology, numerology. You're learning about your true power. 
you are having more faith, renewal, spirituality, fortune, good omen, rejuvenation. This is also an eight in numerology, which symbolizes abundance, power, money, success. And because money is power, and this is the year of the number eight energy, you're going to come into some money this year, 100%. You're going to be more successful this year, 100%. You have to also consider your personal year number, things of that nature. You're, you're free. You know, what do you do with your free will? But you are going to be powerful and successful with this knowledge you're gaining about numerology and astrology. I actually like using my laptop. Okay, let's see. What is the final outcome for Aries? Let's see if we can keep this a little short and sweet for the Aries. Excuse me one moment, you guys. What is the final outcome for Aries spirit? Beautiful reading so far. Very, very excited for this year, you guys. I'm a life path number eight. Comment below, what is your life path? If you don't know, you must find out there are some youtube channels with some incredibly accurate insights insightful information knowledge about your life path number you'll know exactly why your life is the way it is why certain things continue to happen why you can't stop obsessively thinking about something you will learn about your true compatibility with people. You will learn about your enemy signs. Spirit doesn't have another message for you with the tarot, but I'm going to get some other messages with other decks. So thank you so much for the messages. I appreciate it. We're going to move on to the Angels Oracle deck. I'm going to find out some answers from our angels. So if you have a question, you can ask it in your heart. We do have, this is not a personal reading. It might resonate for you as if it is, but it's not always going to resonate 100%. Take what resonates, leave the rest. And do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can even share my videos. Turn on my post notifications. Thank you, Aries. That was fast. Ask for help from others. Somebody needs to ask for help. Maybe, oof, my hand is, my, my hand has some smoke residue on it from the Palo Santo. Okay, I don't want anyone to be disgusted by that. You never know. Okay, ask for help from others. Somebody is way too independent. Take on too many burdens. And especially in Aries, you're very impulsive, a leader. You just want to get it done. But ask for help. Even if it has to do with an ascended master, an angel, God. Opportunity. Opportunity of financial opportunity. Do you see this gold financial opportunity, you guys? There's going to be a lot of financial opportunities this year. You're going to recover your finances. Recovering finances. Recovering from... Ooh, you're recovering from grief, the past, heart chakra, healing, activation. You could even be like awakening a little bit. You're having, ooh, someone, someone is asking for something and the, it's unlikely to occur for, for some of you, okay? Not, this is not a personal reading. Well, no. Oh, some of you, the answer is straight up no for whatever question you had. Okay, let's see. Forgiveness. Somebody needs to forgive so that they can recover their mental clarity, their peace, their joy, their, you know, childlike happiness, that their joy. You have to release the pain. What's going to happen after they release the pain? What's going to come in for Aries? abundance i can't make this stuff up i'm telling you i learned this the hard way you have some people have blessings that are being blocked because of emotional remain positive it's very important to remain positive and i want to give you guys a little tip sometimes your guides even god angels will tell you something just to keep you inspired and keep going because they know if they tell you that something will never happen and they never give you hope that you'll just give up. 
So remain positive. Be, you know, you're very powerful, okay? I'm reading the cards, but you're determining what the cards tell me. And this can change at any given moment, whether it's a good reading or a bad reading, you have control over the outcome. And that's what I believe. I could be wrong. I'm always open to learning. Success is definitely on the horizon. All of this success. I'm getting intuitively that some of you are doing some work and you're gaining a lot of insights, spiritual insights, and you're becoming successful because you are going to know what to do. You're going to know how to communicate very clearly with the divine, with the universe, with your guides. Communicate clearly. Reconsider whatever it is that you're doing. If you're asking for something, maybe the universe wants something better for you. Maybe that thing that you think you want is not good and be good for you. Maybe it'll destroy another area of your life that you really love. There's a shadow side to even, you know, money, positive energy. There's always a shadow to everything. Trust in God. Trust in the divine. Trust in Mother Nature. Trust that what it is that you desire will be yours. That is how prayer works, you guys. Doubt is what kills the seed. Doubt is what ruins the impression. It's up to you, Aries. I want to empower you. It's up to you. The more you learn how powerful you really are, the more you will be afraid of it. And then you'll understand why you've been kind of told that you don't really have any. Stop daydreaming. Focus on this external reality, even though it's all created from within. Everybody in the whole world's waking up to it. There's so much evidence, quantum physics, and people will still not believe it until they're ready and they have ascended to a higher level. You are on the right path. Let's see what we have for you in the Kipper deck. Let's get some Kipper deck messages. We have some symbols. It's a new deck, so I might have to look up the meaning for some of the cards that I, if I've never seen them before. But we are going to get some insights into like some details about your current situation. And a part of the reason why I like to pull so many cards is because I know that the more cards I pull, the more clarity and information you get, the more easier it'll be to realize whether or not it resonates for you. And it also helps me get to know my different decks. Okay, let's see. What do we... Ooh, that was... Ooh, Aries. It is my pleasure to tell you that unexpected income is coming. Completion, 27. You have to add the two in numerology, so that's a nine. So there's a lot of mystery about what the number nine means, but to my knowledge and based on my research, which I have to admit, it's a little limited compared to other numbers, number nine. But it's about completion, selflessness, and it's right before you have a new beginning. So it could symbolize an ending, but there's unexpected income coming. It's going to come from an unexpected source. And it's just going to fall into your hand. And you need to realize that this is possible. And if you don't, I, I genuinely hope that you prove to yourself that it's possible. So the thing is that change is on the horizon. I did mention that nine could symbolize ending. So change is always going to come with an ending, right? There's a thief in the family. They could be an emotional thief, energy vampire. They could use guilt to try to keep you small, to feed off of your energy. And you have to acknowledge this so that it doesn't work. So when you encounter these situations, when you encounter these situations, acknowledge that even your own family could be, there could be like a spirit that will enter into your family's consciousness. It could be their, their thoughts, 
their negative thoughts that are being told to your family member. And if your family is in a low vibration, which a lot of people are, then they will definitely, you know, not realize it. And especially if they're not as like very conscious and they don't like really meditate. So they could do this unconsciously, subconsciously without even realizing they're doing it. Thoughts, guard your thoughts. Weed out, take out of the weeds. This is so important. You have no idea how important your thoughts are. This is why meditation is so popular now because people have started to learn from the people in India, for example, that thoughts become things. I'm actually subscribed to that website, Thoughts Become Things. Check it out. Family room. Someone is guarding their thoughts taking out of the weeds, manifesting, communicating differently with God, with the universe about what their desires are. Official person. Maybe this person's going to come in and tell you about your, your stability, your finances, some type of a family situation. There's a false person around you. It could be a woman, doesn't have to be. It could be somebody who wants your partner. They want your abundance. They want your money. They want your power. Somebody feels emotionally imprisoned. Could be this false person who doesn't really have access to you and they know that you're coming into money. Somebody they somebody might want to to ruin your marriage. That's what I'm intuitively getting, okay? So you have to be very mindful. It's a, It could be a mature woman family member. I, I'm sorry to tell you. The truth hurts, but it sets you free. And, and if this is something that's happening for you, don't look at it as, oh my God, I'm the victim. And oh my God, this person is so bad. Sometimes uh, people do this because they are afraid of losing you. Look at it. Always look at the negative situation as if people are doing it out of ignorance and not maliciousness. But do not allow it to happen to you. Have boundaries. But don't hurt yourself by labeling, labeling it and making it so much worse. And people are unconsciously doing this most of the time. Most of the time, okay? Last card. So somebody has pos. Ooh, Aries. Did you know that 28 is the number of wealth? Someone knows that they're coming into money. And this could be why there are people around you that want this. This keeps coming up. Sudden wealth, unexpected income, false person. Marriage, mature woman, like these cards keep coming up. Official person, thoughts change, expectations of wealth. Look, 20, so let me explain to you. 20 is the number of wealth. A lot of very wealthy people were either born on the 28th or they started business like Elon Musk on the 28th. He does things like that. He started Twitter on the 3rd because the 3rd is all about, 3 is all about the Empress card, abundance, communication, the Mercury. So Twitter is all about, long story short, the reason why 28 is, it, so I had to do this myself. Like how did, how did, how is this a symbol of wealth? Two is feminine energy. It's the receiving, right? Eight is abundance, power, money. This That's the theme of the year. That's why 28 is a number of wealth because you are, receiving abundance by allowing it to flow to you so on a deep level and it's a fact that by being more feminine not telling you that if you're a man you know wear makeup i'm not saying that we all have both mad that 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 but obviously where was i going with this and this is a mudra okay this is helping me get this information across to you this is assisting me, you know, with the elements, planets. You're so, you're so powerful that you can just do this and gain some wisdom. Beyonce does this all the time. So you have, um, this is obviously a fact that because numbers don't lie. You know, one plus one will never be 25, ever, no matter how much you try to make it. 
So by acknowledging that 20 is the number of wealth, eight is money, two is receiving femininity, allowing. It's obvious that in order to become more abundant, Aries, you're going to need to be more in your feminine power. Fellas, you too. It's not about it's not about masculine, feminine polarity when we're talking about this, okay? I'm sure you guys understand this, overstand this even. A lot of you probably have more experience, you know. I don't mean to make any assumptions, but I definitely love you guys and vibe with you guys. My husband said I found my tribe. Let's see what else we have for you guys in love. What's coming for you in love? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with your partner. So communication issues. I just saw a beautiful bird and it felt like a different, you know, experience than when I see them all the time. It cuz it came to the window and it just like it, it now it just okay, whatever. Maybe I'm delusional. But at least I'm questioning. So you're going to have a heart to heart conversation or you need to you need to be vulnerable. Wear green because it will heal it will help you heal and open your heart. We also have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Some of you have a little bit of a blockage because you've been hurt so many times that you don't really express your love and you have to know that you're hurting yourself because you, you're not allowing the abundance to flow. When you pray, when you ask using your heart, using your feelings, communicating with the field properly you know this was taken out of the the b-i-b-l-e for a reason so that people don't really know how to manifest how to create how to pray how to do 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 so express what you desire by opening your heart this will give you motivation to even heal and i promise you when you do the healing work everyone around you benefits improves Let's see, what else do we have for Aries? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is why when you're so happy, people are so attracted to you and they just come up to you out of nowhere. But when you're miserable, it can be the opposite. And the people will approach you for, with problems and just to rant. There's a beautiful woodpecker over here. I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but... You attract romantic love fully by enjoying this moment. Being present and focusing on the now is, is a form of meditation. You clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and it's going to come soon, Aries. Maybe it's going to be the full moon, the new moon. I just got chills. Spirit is saying, yes, it's going to be then. New moon, full moon. Look it up. When is that going to be? I think it's on the 26th, but do not quote me on that. I could be wrong. And I also don't 100% remember where I found that information. So if you guys have any resources, let me know. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. And we're talking about human beings and angels and ascended masters or deities. They're just reflections of your power. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And one of the ways you're doing that this year is by gaining knowledge. Gaining power. With, pow with knowledge comes a lot of power especially when you apply it Aries I'm feeling so excited right now that I'm gonna get one more deck let's get one more deck and see what we have for you guys okay just give me one moment take a mini break mm. okay Let's see, universe, angels, spirit guides, thank you so much for assisting me with this reading. Let's get some accurate messages for Aries. Let's blow their minds. Let's shock them with how accurate this reading is. Let's just pull some cards. Pull some cards. Hit the like button. 
to exchange your energy so we can get the more you watch my readings the more it will feel accurate for you because your energy and my energy are mixing together don't think just because we're on the internet that you're somehow not influenced by me my thoughts my feelings my assumptions my my mood because some of you are going to be hypersensitive to that keep in mind sometimes if you watch a reader and they're like really negative or they're really upset or they're kind of immature you know because they're like really young or they're going through something you know you have to know that that's actually hurting you so be cautious be mindful protect your energy like you do with everything else value your energy like you would your pay your money because it's like your currency somebody this is a double confirmation that you need to rest renew your mind meditate retreat from the world aries this is the oh i just got the strongest chills and it is not freezing right now i have a lot of clothes on i have like warm fuzzy socks i really do enjoy doing this but i honestly don't have to do this so I'm very conflicted, but I'm going to definitely, I, I committed to continue. I don't know how often I will upload though, but I've been doing uploads almost every day for the most part. There's somebody gossiping or spying on you or watching you. Um, they could have a message. For you. They could be thinking about you, wanting to talk to you. They're having nostalgia. It could be a family member is thinking about you, Aries. It's, it could be a working parent. It could be your mother. It could be you, someone who's focused on their finances, someone who's independent, who has enough, someone who works from home. Beautiful, beautiful reading for you. It's a love message from a family member. That's what it seems like, at least for everyone. We have the fool car starting something new. Somebody might want to start over with you, or maybe you're being naive. Maybe they're naive. New beginnings. Someone feels like a victim. Somebody's trapped in their victim mentality. It could be this other person. It doesn't have to be you. But the good new, the good thing is it's all in your head. This is a this is the card of self-imposed limitations. And then this is you're balancing, you're juggling, you have a lot going on. You're you're maintaining, you know, you have a lot going on and you're trying to maintain your balance. Someone's a little defensive and guarded because they've been through a lot. The world card, completing a cycle, Aries. This is very good news. You're completing a cycle, finally reaching success, finally completing a cycle. You've been waiting for this. You've been working towards this. It's here, the world card. You're going to get a message you're very passionate about. You might be moving on to calmer waters or just taking a trip, moving, moving to another location, going overseas. Interesting. What is the final outcome? Very passionate, even aggressive about this, this moving or leaving home or traveling. What's the final outcome for Aries? Success, contentment, emotional satisfaction, overindulging even because you have so much abundance. Look at all these cups. Look at all this water. Okay, that's not water. That's actually a blanket on the table that the cups are on. But do you see this man? He has like this smug look on his face like, I have so much. I could just do what I want. And I can overeat because I have so much money. I could even drink as much as I want because who's going to stop me? I have all the time and freedom in the world. And then we have the three of wands. You're thinking about your next move. 
could be thinking about traveling or just you're reflecting. You're just thinking about your, your life and your act. You know, what do you want to do next? Exploring. Ooh, the tower. Something's going to shock you. Stay balanced. Something is going to end. The ending of waiting, of trying, of manifesting. It's coming through. Tell us more about this tower. Give us more details about this tower for Aries. You're manifesting success, money, power. You're using your strength, meaning you're using power that you have as opposed to forcing it. You're using prayer. You're using meditation, visualization, affirm ask formations, affirmations. Um, you know, you're using all these different techniques to strengthen your ability to manifest abundance. I'm getting within the next two weeks. Temperance in timing means two weeks time. Within two weeks time, you may, you may, if this resonates, if this is for you, come into some abundance. Someone's going to offer you love. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Could, yep, could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could have a message for you. The end of conflict, the end of rivalry, the end of carrying all of these burdens on your own, Aries. Okay, let's see. Sorry about that. I think that's enough, right? And I just kind of do things the way that I feel called to do them in the moment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my playlists, my shorts, and my community tab for more readings. Thank you for watching.